Good morning. This is Tuesday, July 23rd, your daily weather hazard briefing for Southeast Idaho. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith here at the National Weather Service in Pocatello. As we look over the next five days or so, there's good news and bad news. First, the bad news, it's still hot. A lot of heat continuing across the region here for a few days. It's going to continue to really dominate our weather here in southeast Idaho both today and Wednesday. We're talking mid to upper 90s. We're even talking a few 100s out there. So if you look at what normal high temperatures look like here for mid to late July, we're normally running closer to the mid 80s to lower 90s based on climatology. But our actual forecast here over the next two days has everyone, at least all of our population centers, in the lower 90s to lower 100. So more of the same, more of this heat that we've been dealing with uh, in some areas for weeks now, unfortunately, as we still have a strong ridge of high pressure sitting to our south over the four corners. And that dome, that big dome of high pressure continuing to keep us quite warm here. If we want to call out one particular period, we're going to call out Wednesday. We've issued a heat advisory for most of southeast Idaho from noon to 10 p.m. This is the period when we are expecting multiple locations to exceed 100 degrees. So it's been hot continuously, uh, at least during the daytime and the afternoon hours, but it's going to be particularly hot here as we go into Wednesday. Now, things are going to change a little bit. There's other shenanigans <laughs> working their way into the forecast here beyond on just heat. What we're looking at is that ridge to our south is going to weaken. We have a trough of low pressure that's going to cross the northern Rockies. It is going to exert some influence here on our weather in southeast Idaho over the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday period. So that means a few things. First, increasing chances for afternoon thunderstorms all three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even into Saturday for a few spots. This is going to be a wetter air mass. We're actually, the, the high pressure system to our south is going to work in tandem with this low pressure system coming into our north to pump some monsoon moisture northward and give us a low level and mid level air mass that's wetter than what we've seen. What that means is our thunderstorms, instead of being really, really conducive to these gusty winds, these gusty outflow winds, we're going to back off just a little bit on that. Still some wind potential, but we're going to introduce much heavier down pores in the storm cores here. Just a lot more moisture to tap into. Uh, maybe even a localized, localized risk of some excessive rainfall or flash flooding with a few of these thunderstorms over this three-day period. So that's a change there. We're also expect expecting an increase in wind, particularly the afternoons on Thursday and Friday will be quite breezy. We'll see that tightening pressure gradient between the low and the high. Uh, not looking at any uh, damaging high wind concerns out of this, but there certainly will be a concern concern for fire weather and certainly will be noticeable for many of you out there compared to how calm it's been here over the past couple days. And finally, some good news. There is a gentle cooling trend starting Thursday. And by the time we get out to Saturday, at least for one day, High temperatures across southeast Idaho expected to hold in the 80s everywhere. We may avoid anyone getting to 90 degrees at least for one day as we get out to Saturday. So we'll take what we can get. Certainly uh, we could use the moisture. Certainly we could use a break in some of these uh, hot temperatures, although there will be some, some fire weather concerns with all of this. I'll just call this out right now. We've been so dry as we introduce a little bit more wind into the pattern here and as we introduce some thunderstorms with some lightning, there's some general concern here through this period that we may increase our potential for some lightning starts here, lightning uh, ignited wildfires. Uh, we're going to we're gonna take it day by day here. We'll evaluate whether any red flag warnings or other messaging is needed, but it's certainly going to be on our radar here after how hot and dry it's been. Now we're adding a little bit of wind, even with the uh, a more moist air mass, even with backing off on how dry it is, adding some more wind and adding some lightning potential. This is what it looks like if you break it down over the five days geographically. We start out today, Tuesday, just a few isolated thunderstorms up here across the Central Mountain region. So some lightning risk there, maybe some wind gusts, but quiet across the rest of Southeast Idaho. 
And then you can see this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday period really lights up. We start to go more scattered for thunderstorm coverage in some areas on Wednesday. We introduce some wind Thursday, Friday, some breezy conditions across portions of the region. Thursday, uh, at least scattered, if not uh, fairly widespread thunderstorm activity, particularly during the afternoon hours, just about everywhere. This is going to be probably our best coverage day looking at the region as a whole on Thursday. Start to back off Friday, but still particularly South Hill. Southeast Highlands, Northeast Highlands, uh, everywhere south and east of the Snake Plains, still seeing quite a bit of thunderstorm activity with some isolated storms elsewhere and some wind continuing. And then we slowly trend down into Saturday. I think there's a little bit of uncertainty Saturday as to how quickly we'll kick this system out. There isn't really a strong, well-defined cold front with it, even though we will be cooling off on our temperatures. And we have some other some other players here in the picture, including some low pressure coming out of Northern California that may continue to provide a chance of a few storms into Saturday, so we'll keep an eye on that. This Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time period here that I've boxed off in green, representing moisture, this is our period where our air mass is expected to be quite a bit more moist than what we've seen lately. And again, we could see some very heavy downpours, some wetter-leaning thunderstorms here in this activity, as opposed to uh, just dry thunderstorms that are mostly wind and lightning, but very little rain. So... Again, a change there, really focused on this three-day period. Watches, warnings, and advisories. Here's that heat advisory that we have in effect for Wednesday for many of our low-elevation areas, particularly in the Snake Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, uh, the valleys here down across the South Hills, the Raft River region. Again, temperatures approaching or even exceeding 100 degrees in many of these locations. Uh, Wednesday afternoon will be the hottest day of the forecast. Satellite loop pretty quiet this morning. There's a few clouds drifting out of the central mountains here into the Snake Plain. Maybe a couple sprinkles here early this morning near Arco, but generally quiet conditions as we open up your Tuesday. This is our severe weather outlook for today. I've, this may be a little overdone. Looking through all the high-res models this morning, I think the Central Mountain region really has our best shot at seeing a few isolated thunderstorms this afternoon. It's going to be predominantly dry as soon as you get down into the Snake Plain and the Eastern Magic Valley Corridor and then points to the south and east. I can't completely say 0% chance of rain, but I really think it's the Central Mountain region today that has the best risk. <clears throat> Uh, some of our normal graphics are not working this morning, so I apologize. It's going to look a little different than what some of you are used to. Here's a look at our high temperature forecast for today. Again, the heat continues, particularly out in the Treasure Valley and Shoshone, where we may see some triple-digit readings. For our fire partners, here's a look at wind gusts today. Not terribly terrifying. Luckily, we're going to keep those winds fairly modest here during the afternoon. But we're not into that moist air mass yet, so you can see that minimum relative humidity values. I, I know this says Wednesday. That's a mislabel. This is today. This is this afternoon for minimum relative humidity still dropping into the teens, still very close to some critical values here across large portions of southeast Idaho. Again, the moisture isn't here yet. As we advance into Wednesday, uh, this is looking more accurate. Pretty good uh, chance of thunderstorms here, at least isolated if not scattered across most of the region. Not looking at an organized severe weather threat, but again, we're transitioning from gusty wind potential into maybe still some wind, but particularly heavy downpour potential and of course lightning with thunderstorms on Wednesday. High temperatures still very hot here for uh, Wednesday afternoon with that heat advisory in effect. You can see those triple digit readings creeping in yet again. Again, uh, 99, our current forecast for Pocatello, so very close there. And even uh, 90 or better up into Island Park, Driggs, Montpelier, pretty much every uh, population center you see on this map uh, is in the 90s for Wednesday. Going to start to increase that breeze just a little bit here. You can see some wind gusts during the afternoon here on Wednesday exceeding 20 miles an hour, particularly in the Snake Plain. But we're, we're bringing that moisture in. So by the time we increase the winds, as far as a red flag concern for our fire partners, here's what we're going to start to do to the uh, minimum relative humidity values Wednesday afternoon. We're starting to inch above that 15% in many areas as we transport the moisture in. Thursday, everywhere, chance of isolated to scattered, if not better than scattered coverage on our thunderstorms, particularly during the afternoon. Heavy downpour is certainly a concern, and we actually, our, uh, our agency's weather prediction center has outlined a large portion of southeast Idaho in an excessive rainfall outlook, marginal risk here for Thursday afternoon. 
Excessive rainfall means very heavy downpours. That means at least a, a localized risk of some flash flooding out of these thunderstorms. So uh, particularly starting Thursday, that's when our moisture is deepest. That's when we're really into this new regime, and we're going to have to keep an eye on this potential out there as well. You can see it doesn't currently include the Central Mountains. It does take longer for some of that moisture to penetrate northward up into the terrain here across the Central Mountains. So we'll lean a little bit drier in comparison to locations from the Snake Plain southward, but still the trend is there. High temperatures Thursday with a lot of cloud cover out there with a lot more thunderstorm activity. We're backing off low 90s. Now our high temperatures Thursday afternoon at lower elevations. Stanley 85, Island Park 85, Montpelier 87. It's going to definitely feel a little bit cooler out there. And uh, also for Thursday, look at our wind gusts during the afternoon. Again, we're increasing those winds now into somewhat critical values for fire weather. Gust to 25, even 35 here out over the Arco Desert. But by this time, again, moisture deepening. So our lowest relative humidity values here Thursday afternoon, generally checking in at 25 to 35% now. You can see some of those uh, drier values up here over the Central Mountains where it does take longer for some of that moisture to penetrate northward. Let's take a quick look at Friday and Saturday. Here's Friday's high temperatures backing off even more. Uh, may still make it to 90 degrees in portions of the eastern Magic Valley here, but generally 80s predominant across the rest of southeast Idaho. And look at Saturday. We're going to start to trend drier again as we head into the weekend. Maybe a few lingering showers or thunderstorms here in the eastern Highland region. But high temperatures generally ranging from about 80 to 87, 88 by Saturday afternoon. So we'll take what we can get. Definitely some relief here from the heat. Uh, again, not a really strong cold front coming in with this system, but definitely an overall slightly cooler air mass infiltrating into our forecast area here to kick off the weekend. And I think particularly by Sunday, we'll get drier, we'll really lower the risk of showers and thunderstorms, and we'll continue with some cooler temperatures relative to what we've seen lately by that time. So that's what we're looking at here. Again, uh, the worst of the heat today into Wednesday, then we start to back off, but we bring in that moisture, we bring in a chance of thunderstorms, we bring in some breezy conditions. We'll be watching thunderstorm coverage and lightning risk as far as potential red flag concerns for our fire weather partners. But the good news is as it gets breezier, we're also increasing that moisture and backing off on those critical relative humidity values during the afternoon. Anyone with questions, comments, concerns, we are here 24-7. Feel free to reach out using the information shown on this slide and everyone have an outstanding Tuesday.